The Film Learn 60K short film competition with over $1,000 in prizes is now on. Head to filmlearn.com to download your entry pack and to enter your short film. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learn, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And today is more than meets the eye, thanks to, well, this and these requests. So a bunch of you have asked for an Optimus Prime voice effect. So that's what we're doing today. Now before we roll out the effect, I'm not gonna keep doing that. Now in order to do this vocal effect, you'll need to do your very best Optimus Prime impression, like yours truly does in this example. I will fight anyone that stands in my way. I've come for that staff. I fight for my own kind. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. Who dares to challenge me? Now guys, I know I've said this a few times this year, but the closest you can get to that Optimus Prime impression, the better the effect's going to be. So before we jump into the effect, here's a quick tip on how you can best achieve that Optimus Prime impression. Now guys, since the impression is so critical in able to achieve an Optimus Prime voice effect, you really need to dial in your voice and get it to go down as low as you can and really get a nice vibrato in your voice. Then dial in the accent and your Optimus Prime impression. And then, and only then, will you sound like the leader of the Autobots. Autobots, roll out. So guys, I hope that helps with your Optimus Prime impression. Also, I've got a whole bunch of clips from the Transformers movies down in the description. So check those out and do a lot of practice because Practice makes perfect. Right, Lawrence? My God. That's not really relevant, but let's just jump into Audition and get started. Okay, guys, here we are in Adobe Audition, and I've got my Optimus Prime voice example recorded and ready to go. Now, instead of recording one of Optimus' speeches at the end of the movies, I've recorded several of his lines from a scene in the latest film, Transformers The Last Night. That way, I can showcase the effect over several different emotional states, and I feel like it gives you a better sample range when we apply the effects to it. So our first step should be a total given. We need to lower the pitch of our voice, because just like with Steppenwolf a couple of weeks back, Optimus Prime has some low hanging balls. I am directly below the enemy scrotum. So let's head to the effects rack, head down to time and pitch, and select pitch shifter. Now for me personally, I've lowered my voice already naturally with my impression, so I'm only gonna lower the pitch a small amount. But for your recording, you may need to alter the settings I'm gonna show you. So for starters, I'm gonna set the precision to high, and then I'm gonna lower the semitones to minus one, and then I'm going to up the sense to 20. Now, why have I increased the sense? Basically, if I drop the semitones to minus one, the voice becomes too low and sounds kinda strange. So by increasing the sense, you're essentially limiting how harsh that semitone drop is. So say for example, I drop the sense all the way down to minus 100. That minus one semitone pitch shift will be much lower than it would be at say zero. So as I said, have a play with these settings and find a balance that works for your recording. So let's have a listen to that. I will fight anyone that stands in my way. I've come for that staff. I fight for my own kind. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. Who dares to challenge me? Personally, I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna close that out and hit apply. Next, we wanna thicken that voice up a bit. Really bring up that bassy vibrato. So let's head down to the effects rack, down to special, and select vocal enhancer. Now by default, that's set to male, and that's what we want, so we'll just close that out. From there, I feel like our performance could use a bit of amplifying. So let's head over to the effects rack once more, jump over to amplify and compression and click amplify. And all we need to do here is hit the drop down menu and select three decibel boost. Now just as a side note, if your audio is already quite loud, don't do this, seriously, because it will be quite loud. Now, you know when we did that vocal enhancement like 20 seconds ago? Yeah, well, let's do it again. Head to the effects rack, down to special, and select Vocal Enhancer. This is really gonna bring out that bass and put some hair on those balls. And let's have a listen to that. I will fight anyone that stands in my way. I've come for that staff. 
I fight for my own kind. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. Who dares to challenge me? Hmm, it's getting there. Now I still want to get that base up a little bit more. So let's head to the effects rack, grab our good friend FFT filter from the filter and EQ menu, and we'll set it to default and just follow along with me. Head along the line a little bit, click your mouse to add an edit point, drag it up a tad, click twice to add two more, and then we'll just adjust it until you have this thick peak that looks like this. There we go. Next, let's add a little metallic vibration-y thingy. Oh, I don't know. For this, let's head over to the rack once more, head to modulation and select phaser. And from the drop down menu, let's select lo-fi phasing, and let's have a listen to that. I will fight anyone that stands in my way. I've come for that staff. I fight for my own kind. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. Who dares to challenge me? See how it gives off that slight vibration? It's nice and subtle, because in all fairness, the Transformers really don't have robotic sounding voices at all. Only Soundwave ever really did, and that was from the old 80s show. He kind of sounds like Dr. Claw in the new movies. And here's a bit of trivia. The same guy that voiced Dr. Claw, Frank Welker, actually voiced Soundwave and Megatron in the old show, and I believe he actually voiced Megatron in the latest movie. Okay, enough of that because we only have one more step and it's just a cherry on top to enhance everything we've already done. So let's head to the effects rack one last time, head to amplifying compression and select multi-band compressor. And from the drop down menu, we just wanna select tighter bass. Tight, 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 yeah. Exactly, Tuco. So let's close that out and apply everything that we have on the effects rack. And let's have a listen to our final mix. I will fight anyone that stands in my way. I've come for that staff. I fight for my own kind. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. Who dares to challenge me? Not bad at all, really. And that, my friends, is another vocal effect done. So guys, add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. I will fight anyone that stands in my way. I've come for that staff. I fight for my own kind. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. Who dares to challenge me? Uh, to this. I will fight anyone that stands in my way. I've come for that staff. I fight for my own kind. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. Who dares to challenge me? So guys, that's my take on an Optimus Prime voice effect. Like I said, the effect itself isn't really that hard, but if you can nail that impression, it sounds even better. Once again, guys, that is my time. There is another film on an episode coming up. I just want to do a fun voice effect for you right now. But if you enjoyed this voice effect, please like and share it. If you're new here, why not hit subscribe or check out the Patreon or check out the Film Learning 60K short film competition or one of our other Film Learning episodes right there. My social media crap is above my head. I post all the time. But until the next episode rolls around, let's roll out and keep learning.